Welcome back to the channel, guys. We got a fun one. Baller on a budget deck tech is back. This one is turn one. We're going to go infinite mill on turn one. Sounds crazy? It ain't that crazy. Let me show you how we're going to do it. And it's only for 20 bucks. Shout out to Gitrog Monster. He's the one that got me hip to this deck. I made only a couple adjustments. When I say a couple, I really mean only a couple. So shout out to him. Thank you very much. Let's just dive right into it. First off, what are we going to need land-wise? Pretty basic. We are running mono black, so we are going to run 20 swamps. That is all. Only 20 swamps are going to be needed for this. Next, let's get into the deck itself. Altar of the Brood. This is a necessity. This is a must for that turn one win. Altar of the Brood is one to bring out. It's an artifact. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent puts the top, excuse me, puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. We have four of them. This is a must have to make this infinite craziness. I'll show you everything, how it's going to be all ran and everything uh, in a little bit. Grinding station. We have four of these. It's a two drop. Not a necessity. Don't have to have this for the turn one win. Tap it, sacrifice an artifact. Target player puts the top three cards of his or her library to his or her graveyard. Whenever an artifact comes into play, you may untap Grinding Station. This would definitely uh, trigger quite a bit in the deck. You'll see in a little bit. We are running four of these. Not a necessity to make that turn one win, but it does come in handy. Also, we can use it... Um, in order to mill ourselves a little bit so we can find another mirror if we have the other components we need for the deck. Mirror Retriever! Speaking of the devil, you little rascal. For two to bring out. Artifact creature, mirror. When Mirror Retriever is put into a graveyard from play, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. It is a 1-1. Essential for this deck. We have four of them. We are running four of our mirrors. White of Precinct 6. It is two to bring out. It's a zombie. White of Precinct 6. Gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards. It is a 1-1. One, one. Because we're running mill, why the heck not throw this in there? Remember, we are budget. This is a strict baller on a budget deck. So you are going to see the cheapest cards put to the best use. That's what we're doing here. And if you're not subscribed, you might want to hit that subscribe button. Because I do a lot of decks like this. Once a month, I drop a new ball around a budget deck tech. And uh, we have a lot of fun on the channel. A lot of box openings and other things. I'm very informative at times as well. Also, a god box. I got that on my video from yesterday. Check that video out. Pretty insane watching that be opened. Right of Precinct 6. We have four of those. We're going to be running in this deck. Next up, we have Gatekeeper of Malachar. It's two. Kicker of only one. When Gatekeeper of Malachar enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, target player sacrifices a creature. Not a necessity, don't need it for turn one kill. But this is a key component if uh, he's got a creature that's doing some harm to you. <laughs> Listen, buddy, leave me alone, okay? I'll give you all my lunch money. No, go all over there and make him sacrifice that creature. That's what we're going to do. So Gatekeeper of Malachar, we're going to run four of them. We have fun. We're going to run four of them in this deck. Next up, Heartless Summoning. It's a two-drop enchantment. This is really the heart and soul. Part of the heart and soul. It's the heart and soul. Creature spells you cast cost two less to cast. Creatures you control get minus one, minus one. It's two to bring this bad boy out. This is a very awesome card, and I'm going to show you how we're going to utilize both of those abilities. Talk about synergy. Oh, my. Next up. Dimmer Machinations. Machinations make I nations. Sure. For three to bring out, it's a sorcery. Look at the top three cards of target player's library. Remove any number of those cards from the game, then put the rest back in any order. It has transmute for three. Discard this card. Search your library for a card with the same converted mana cost as the card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library, plainly as a sorcery. Not bad. Looking at the top three cards of target player's library and then removing any number of those cards from the game is pretty dope. And it's cool because we can put the rest back in any order. Now, we could even use that on ourselves. What? Why not? That way we can find where our um, where our mirror is. We can find where our altar of brood is. Hopefully we can draw into it rather quickly with this card. So this card has multiple uses. Hopefully uh, it will get the job done. 
Just another little mechanic to help out. He said mechanic. I'm triggered. That's it. All right. Just kidding. Let's keep it moving. Not a win condition. Beseech the queen. This is like the only card that makes this deck expensive. Um, It's like 10 bucks for the pair. I have two of them in this. By the way, the Demir running four of those. Beseech the queen. Search a library for a card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shelf your library. Why not tutor something? You're not always going to get that turn one win. You're definitely not always going to get that turn one win. It's probably about a 20%, maybe 10%, that you're actually going to get that turn one win. But even going into turn three, turn four, you're going to be able to win because you're going to be able to tutor some cards to find what you need in the deck and put it into your hand. That's why I have two Beseech the Queens in here. Really, the only card that makes this deck expensive. Otherwise, it'd be like a $10 deck. Go for the throat. Oh, yes. Slice them open. Destroy target non-artifact creature. We are running four of those. Why? Because we need removal. Every black deck should have removal in it because that's what black does best. It just removes stuff. We have four. Go for the throats. Grasp of Darkness has a two-drop. Budget, guys. Always budget-minded I am. Grasp of Darkness is rather inexpensive. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Not a bad card. Actually, that's a really good card. Minus four, minus four to a creature. That eliminates quite a few of the creatures, especially early on in the game. We are only running two of them. I'd like to have four in here. If you want to take out Beseech the Queen, you're more than welcome to do so. Or add some Mr. Dark Ritual here. Let me explain that. Yes, this deck is legal only in Legacy and Vintage, but you're not going to want to run this in Vintage. Well, you could. Why not? It's legal only in Legacy. You take out this Dark Ritual, I have a place out of four of them in here. Add three Swamps to your mana pool. It's one to bring out. This is a necessity for that turn one win. But you take out the Dark Ritual and swap it in with maybe some removal spells, maybe in a couple more Beseech the Queens, you're going to be able to pull off that infinite combo turn four, no problem. But... For that turn one, let's show you guys how it's done. This is really cool. This is really freaking cool. Okay. The main components. Let's break it down, shall we? First things first, we are going to need a swamp. So what we do, turn one, we are going to cast our swamp out. Oh, I'll go over the sideboard after this. I'm sorry. I made a boo-boo. Um, we're going to cast our swamp out. We're not casting it. Someone's, like, triggered right now. I love triggering you guys. So fun. We're going to tap it sloppily like that. Not far. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm just kidding. We'll go all the way. We're going to cast Dark Ritual. We're going to bring that out. Add three swamps to your mana pool. Huge, huge, huge. That's how we're going to get this turn one win. Next, we are going to cast Altar of the Brood. It's one to bring out. Again, whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent puts a top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Pretty freaking dope. So that comes into the battlefield. Next up, with the two extra mana we have left from Dark Ritual, we are going to cast Heartless Summoning. Only takes two, so we are spent for mana now. Creature spells you cast cost two less to cast. Creatures you control get minus one, minus one. So what's going to happen next? We need a Mirror Retriever. For that turn one. So we lay this down for free. Because creature spells are two less, it's two to cast. So we lay it out for free. Boom! He hits the battlefield, but he's instantly going to die. He goes bye-bye. Not me, mama mia. So Mirror Retriever goes bye-bye. But when he hit the battlefield, I'm sorry, we're already up to mill count of two, by the way. One from Heartless Summoning entering, and then uh, Mirror Retriever is two. But he's dead. He's going to the graveyard. Oh no, what do we do? This This stinks. We milled him twice. We drop our second mirror. Remember, when mirror retrievers put into another graveyard from play, return another target artifact creature or another ar artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. What? The second he drops, it's going to trigger a beautiful thing. One, he's going to get milled. He's at three. He's going to die instantly. Creatures you control get minus one, minus one. No, not me. Oh, he's gone. Bye. Nope, he comes back. We bring back the other Retriever. He hits the field. Instantly. This is going to trigger. Mill him again. Four. He dies. Do you see what's going on here? Boom! We bring back Mirror again. Boom! Boom! Double up. Boom! Boom! We just keep on milling the hell out of him. It is an infinite combo. 
C -c -c combo breaker. Yeah, have fun with that one on turn one. I've pulled it off and it is stupid funny the look on your opponent's face when he's like, but we just started playing. It is hilarious. Turn one win. Oh, it's godly. Okay. Let's get into the sideboard. Now, this is going to make the deck more expensive, obviously. But dismember, you can include a place out of four of these. Target creature gets minus five, minus five until end of turn. It can be paid with Phyrexian mana, which basically Phyrexian mana, you pay two life for the swamp. So, Or, I'm sorry, you pay two life. Um... <laughs> can be paid. I'm sorry. Can be paid with a swamp or two life. Okay, sorry. So we would probably use it. It's best to use it for just paying the four life, paying the one. Bada bang, bring out this member. Hero's downfall because what if he's got a Liliana and he wants everyone to discard stuff? Yeah, that's not nice. You know, we need some of those cards in our hands. So let's just destroy that. We have two of these up in here. Two heroes downfalls. Grasp of Darkness, there should be a place at a four. It's the only reason I put it in here as a reminder. You should probably have a place at a four in the main board. Uh, target creature at minus four, minus four. It's really cheap. But if not, you can just put it on the sideboard in case you need more removal. Victim of Night, budget minded, fellas. Destroy target non vampire, non werewolf, non zombie creature. But what if he is running a zombie werewolf or vampire? That's why it's not in the main board. It is budget, it is effective, but if you're up against any of those creature types, you are kind of SOL. So, there you go. All right, let me know what you guys think on this deck. I, I love hearing your guys' comments. What other decks would you like to see me put together? Uh, keep in mind, budget, and I will do what I can to make it into uh, the best budget deck out there. Best bang for your buck. I really appreciate your guys' time. I love that you guys watch. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, by all means, go ahead and do that. And as always, guys, PLA.